Hi guys, Mrs. Egan here. Um, before we get started with our specials P2 lesson, I want to let you know I miss all of you very, very much. Um, I hope you and your family are staying healthy and safe. So I also want to bring up some housekeeping things before I begin as well. Please know, and many of you already have access to this and know this, that I have created a Google Classroom for counseling classroom for each of the classes. This is where I'll be posting some information and sharing information about middle school, middle school transitions, some fun videos, um, some refresher lessons about conflict resolution, emotional re regulation. I also am going to use that as an opportunity for you to reach out to me if you would like for me to personally contact you. And in order to do that, I am happy if you would like to call you. I can do that. And I would very much willing to do that if that's something you would like. You have to have your parents' permission first. I want them to know I'm calling you and chatting with you. And to let me know you want me to call you, either in Google Classroom or on my email, would be the Gmail or FCPS email. Just send me an email. Mrs. Egan, can you please call me? Again, parents have to have have to be notified that I'm calling you. They ha you have to have permission, okay? All right, so let's get started with a lesson this week. Appreciation of beauty and excellence. So what are some things you notice and appreciate in the world, in others, and within yourself? What does excellence mean to you? What do you find beautiful? What do you find excellent? So I'm gonna show you some slides, some pictures. You can thumbs up or thumbs down if you want to, I won't know. But if you wanna make some comments in Google Classroom about what you consider to be beautiful and excellent from the slide, from this presentation, feel free to do so. I want us to keep in the backs of our heads this quote as we're proceeding through the lesson, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Before we get started, consider Margaret Wolf hunger, what her quote means. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. And as we go through the video, I think the definition of this will become clear. Now to me, looking at this at first glance, I find some aspects of this picture beautiful. Beautiful clear blue water, maybe perhaps some seaweed or uh, some kind of sea plant life, some ice maybe or some snow gorgeous. But when I actually researched what this image was, I did some research to find out if it was truly beautiful and or excellent. This is what I discovered. This picture is actually a smaller version or part of this bigger picture, which is actually a close-up of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Ooh, It's where litter that's been dumped in the ocean has come together, kind of conglomerated together to form this big, huge patch of litter. I don't appreciate trash and litter. And sometimes what we think is beautiful at first and excellent at first, sometimes it turns out not to be. Beauty is in the eye of the beholders. I don't behold or think that trash and littering, especially in our oceans or anywhere, is beautiful. Now, do you see beauty and excellence in these famous athletes? Which athlete do you most appreciate or do you find the most athletic or the most excellent in their athletic ability? Why? I know many of you like soccer, so you're gonna pick Messi. You may not pick Messi, you may pick a different famous soccer player, but overall, I think you might find beauty just in the game of soccer and the skills that a professional soccer player has to use to be excellent in order to win games, to be a great player. Me, Mrs. Egan, would choose Drew Brees over Messi. That's what I behold to be beautiful and excellent within an athlete. I like football. I think football players are very skilled. Now, do I think Messi's talented? Do I think famous soccer players or soccer players are talented? Absolutely. I do appreciate them. I do see the beauty in their athleticism. 
but I prefer football, American football, Drew Brees better. I find him more beautiful and more excellent with his athleticism. Okay, so entertainers. I have two on here. Barbara Streisand is right here. She's on the top. Billie Eilish is on the bottom. I know many of you find Billie Eilish to be very talented, um, beautiful singer, writes beautiful lyrics, and has an excellent, beautiful singing voice. I agree, I, I, but I'm, I'm an old woman. She's not my generation. Doesn't mean I don't appreciate her beauty. I don't appreciate her singing. I don't appreciate her talent. I don't find excellence in it. I just prefer Barbara. I would pick Barbara Streisand. I would find her, for me, to be more beautiful, have a more beautiful voice, have excellent singing abilities, because that's who, what I grew up with, who I grew up with. I would probably pick her over Billie Eilish, but it wouldn't mean I wouldn't find Billie Eilish a beautiful, talented, excellent singer. Doesn't mean I don't appreciate her. I just don't listen to her. I like Barbara Streisand. She's my generation. Again, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. So I love everything about nature. I can find beauty and excellence in all nature. Uh, thunderstorms, beaches, trees, plants, animals especially. However, I, I appreciate a thunderstorm. I find beauty in a thunderstorm, but I find myself personally this to be more beautiful and I appreciate it more. So beauty again is in the eyes of the beholder. Doesn't mean I don't like and appreciate nature and thunderstorms and rain. I just appreciate this even better. Wish I was there now. Actually, no, because I'm technically with you guys. So this brings me to a, a video clip that I would have liked to have shared with you about our seven natural wonders of the world to look at some uh, beautiful images in our world of nature. However, Mrs. Egan hasn't quite figured out how to get that looped in. I will, growth mindset. So I'm gonna send you the link to the video to Google Classroom as of right now. So please watch it, enjoy it. Um, there's so many more beautiful places throughout this world and this country that are absolutely natural beauties. Doesn't mean you can't find beautiful nature in your backyard, beautiful things in your own backyard. So with that in mind, I'm going to conclude the lesson with this. I challenge you this week to find and appreciate beauty and excellence in the ordinary things that surround you. I also challenge you to find and appreciate the beauty and excellence in others. Most importantly, I challenge you to find and appreciate beauty and excellence within you. Everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. People often say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and I say that the most liberating thing about beauty is realizing that you are the beholder. What you see out there and you think is beautiful, and what you appreciate and what you find excellent is up to you. This empowers us to find beauty in places where others have not dared to look, including inside ourselves. I appreciate you. I know the beauty and excellence all of you have within you. Find it within yourself as well. Hugs, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.